Hi, my name's Joanne and I'm going to be here every day at 11 o'clock with a brand new picture for you each day from the Little Art School. I show you lots of different tips and techniques and we can do a little bit of drawing together. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to do a demonstration. First of all, we'll start with a warm up, just like we do in the art classes. And I'm going to do a demonstration and then you'll get a chance to pause and that's your chance to draw. And then I'll do another demo a pause and that's your chance to draw so that's how we're going to do it now at the little art school we've got artists coming from age 5 to 18 so i'm trying to choose for pictures and paintings that everybody can have a go at but at the end what i'll also do is try to find something that's a little bit more difficult for our older artists so older artists stick with us have a little bit of fun today we're going to do a cheeky little frog and i think you're going to love it <laughs> So all you need, this is all you need. You don't need masses of art equipment. We're just gonna have, just want you to start off with, you get a rubber, a nice pencil, and a bit of paper. Now, this is my scrap bit of paper. I'm gonna throw this in the bin. This is my warm-up paper. So you just need one bit of paper for warming up, and then another piece to draw on. Now, I've got two types here. One's just a piece of cartridge paper. If you don't have it, if all you've got at home at the moment is just bits of scrap paper, that's fine. Got some cartridge paper, you could draw on that. Here's, here's, here's our gold though. If you've got this, if you've got some watercolour paper at home, when we come on to doing the drawing, do it on the watercolour paper and then we can use um, watercolour pencils. I'm going to show you that. If you've not got that, forget about it. Don't worry. You can go to do your frog. You can just use pencils, use some colouring pencils. You could use some crayons. I've got these kind of um, twisty, twisty crayons here or normal crayons. These are the watercolour pencils I'm going to be using, but you might just want to use felt tips, do what you want. So I've got some here where this, this one is done in watercolour pencil. And here Angus did this one for me using his felt tips. And Henry did one just using colouring pencils. So you can use whatever you want on, on here. So before we start at the Little Art School, what we always, always do is a warm up. Now, warm up is about just warming the body up exactly like you would when you if you're exercising but instead we're just going to warm our hand up a little bit now think about your pencil grip people often when they're drawing will draw like that in the same ways as they write but the easiest quickest way to improve your drawing is to move your hand slightly up your pencil get your grip lovely and loose and today we're going to do circles now circles don't come here from the wrist, they come here from your shoulder. So think about that, that nice um, shoulder joint that you've got, that ball in your shoulder, and that's what you're moving. And I want you to try pressing hard, and you, it won't be, feel as smooth or sketchy, and then lift the pencil so that it's quiet. That's what we call it the little art school, quiet marks, lovely, quiet curves. So just cover your paper with scribbles. Don't forget, this is just, just scrap paper. We're just going to throw this away. And then I want you to just go like that. I'm just going to put that one out of the way because at the end of the day, it's just a piece of paper, nothing to get worried about. And now we'll start our proper drawing with our piece of paper. Okay, so now we're going to do our drawing of the frog on the piece of paper. Here you can see, just like you use in the art school, I've put a piece of watercolour paper down, but that's because I'm going to paint this at the end. If you don't have any watercolour paper at home, and lots of you won't, I just want you to draw on a normal piece of paper. It doesn't need to be taped. Just do some drawing and you can colour it in with ordinary pencils. But first, let's get our piece of paper and we're just going to... Here we go. Look, I'm going to mark it about halfway down, just so that I can see where the middle is. Now I want you to just watch first and then I'm going to pause, you pause the video to do the next bit. So we're going to start in the middle, put a little mark right in the middle of the page and we're going to start with this little shape here. So can you see? It's just a little curve in the middle of the page. Then we're going to come up and we're going to do a bit more here and here. We're going to try and keep this as symmetrical as we can. So next is these eyes, these circles for the eyes. What I'm going to do is just look, can you see I'm just doing lots and lots of little strokes for these to make these nice round eyes. There we go. There's one on one side and I want the other one to be as close as I can to that. There we go. I've got the second eye in. 
Now, in the middle of the, the eyes, I'm just going to have this little, very light, can you see I'm not touching the edges of it? You'll see why in the next go. Just got a little line there in the middle. Now, again, thinking about having it the same on each side, put in two little marks. Work out how far you want this body to come down. I'm going to go down to about there. So you can see I'm marking it in before I start. Look how nice and loosely I'm holding my pencil. And we'll take it round and this is the shape that we want for our froggy body. So nice and loosely. And this is the end of the first stage. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to you I want to ask you to pause the pause the tape and you get these shapes in on your piece of paper. So the next thing, we're going to give him a smile. Now, I think he needs a smile, a nice, cheerful smile. So start it here. And we're going to take it all the way across. Let's give him, he's a huge grin of a happy frog. Now, if we have a look up here, can you remember that I said to leave these little gaps? Don't worry if you didn't. You can just use your rubber for it. But I want to go like this with the eye. You see, and he gives him those kind of googly eyes. And it adds extra bit to our frog so there we go he's got his little eyes now and then we're going to come on to the legs so again remember mark it out both sides about halfway down and we're going to come and put these legs in now think about that shape in between so all about the shape between the shape which we talk about a lot at a little art school and then we're going to go out We'll go round. Let's give him his little webbed feet. Can you see I'm leaving those little gaps? They'll just make him look slightly more sophisticated. Okay, and we'll do it on the other side as well. And round and coming out. So I'm going to ask you now to pause it again. And what I'm going to ask you to do is a smile, the edges of the eyes, two legs. Right, so let's put his eyes in. Now, if you think about a frog's eyes, don't put a circle on. What we want is like a nice long line. There we go, like that. And once you've got those lines in, I want you to give it a little highlight. So pop a little highlight in as well. So he's got his eyes in and we're gonna finish him off now with two front legs. So think about coming down. If we imagine there's a line there and go slightly beneath it, one, two, three, four little lines. And let's take these front legs so they go right over. Can you see how I've splayed out there? And we'll do exactly the same here. One, splayed out. And then pop in the little bit of webbing. One, two, three, one, two, three. And that's him, our cheerful frog. Now you can also go back in, and if you like, I would add in a little leaf. So he's on his lily pad. It gives him somewhere to sit. So pause it and finish off your drawing of a frog. So you've got your frog and he's all finished and now you can take some colouring pencils or some crayons or some felt tips, whatever you want, colour him in, do some little designs. Um, <clears throat> at the Little Art School we use a lot of paints and watercolour paints but we weren't sure whether anyone would have them at home. So what I'm going to do on different days is demonstrate different techniques that you could have a go with. So this one I'm going to use today, this is watercolour pencils and I've got a few different colours here, I probably won't use that one. I've got these ones here so I'm going to start with his eyes and what I'm going to do is go around. So everyone at the Little Art School will be really familiar with these amazing pencils but people who've not been to the Art School might not know about them so they're not it's not an ordinary pencil it's like a parent's dream of a pencil of a pencil because it's painting because it's it's not very messy but what you do is you just colour it like that and when you take your little paintbrush it's like magic, it turns into paint. So that's, that's a little bit of your watercolour pencil. Now, 
Again, do not worry if you don't have any watercolour pencils at home. You can paint it if you've got some paint or you can just colour it in with ordinary pencils or crayons. I'm going to come here and look, let me see what I'm doing halfway there. I'm going to do them in yellow, but this is your frog and you can colour them in any way that you want. But I'm going to go round the legs here. So when I colour with this pencil, although it looks like pencil, you'll see in a second that it's just going to turn to paint. Now remember, if you're using watercolour pencils, you really need to make sure that you've got some good thick paper, preferably watercolour paper, but if not, whatever you can get your hands on. So this is just an extra step for those of you who've got some watercolour paper at home and some pens or some watercolour pencils. So there we go. Can you see how quickly that changed? So we'll pop in there like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go round this in a lovely, lovely dark green. Same round his legs. Here we go. And there. So if you're colouring this just with ordinary pencils, you really don't have to stick to these greens and yellows. Um, Elizabeth, who's filming this, who is also a teacher at the Little Art School and who will be shooting some of these videos herself over the next few weeks, she'll be in some. She uh, did point out that in the Amazon, some of these frogs were really amazing colours. So you could make yours an Amazonian frog if you wanted and then make him amazing colours. So you can see with the pencils, it works really well just to go around them first. And then I'm going to turn this gorgeous froggy to paint. I'll use a slightly thicker brush this time, just to be quick. And then you can come in, do your, your leaf in any colour that you'd like. You could put some lovely lily flowers on here. I don't know what frogs eat. Do they eat dragonflies? Could you pop a little dragonfly on maybe for him? So coming to the end of your frog, um, I really would love to see the ones that you've all done and tell me about whether you've coloured them in or whether if you've got paints at home, whether you've used paints. And that's him just all finished off. All we need is the most important thing to make, make him come to life, really. And that is his pupils. Oh, wrong colour, there's the brown. just want you to pop the black and you don't need to turn that to paint but when you're putting these pupils in don't forget to leave that little highlight in there as well and then let's give him a smile and there's your little frog